So let us <clears throat> now summarize the contraindications of aspirin. So acidity, so mainly ulcers, right? So you should not give in acidity patients. And asthma patients you should not give. Why? Because it causes bronchospasm, correct? Then also it causes hypersensitivity, anaphyloid reaction. Patients with G6PD deficiency you should not give. Why? Because NADPH will be less and there can be hemolysis, right? What has this got to do with aspirin? Then? So aspirin also can lead to hemolytic anemia, okay? Now in children, what happens in uh, children? In children, if you give, there can be Rice syndrome. So you should not give in children. Uh, unknown cause, and uh, you have encephalopathy. Now coming to pregnancy, what happens in pregnancy? In pregnancy, basically, it can lead to delayed onset of labor, excess postpartum hemorrhage. Now in neonates with congenital heart disease, can you give aspirin? No. Why? Because it can lead to the premature closure of ductus arteriosus. Okay. Next, coming to kidney failure, if they have, will you give aspirin? No. Why? Because they cannot excrete it, eliminate it. And also, in uh, high doses, there can be analgesic nephropathy. Correct? In prolonged use. Coming to bleeding disorder, in prolonged use, you will have bleeding disorder. So, don't give it to people who already have bleeding disorder. Gout. Gout again, this is the uricose uric effect. You will have to explain that in low doses, it will cause retention of uric acid. In high doses, it will cause excretion of it. Now, if the person has hypertension, don't give because this will further cause the retention of sodium and water. Next, what about uh, negative drug interactions? If the person is on glucocorticoid, don't give uh, aspirin because he will have excess GI symptoms like ulcers and all. Lithium, don't give. It will cause lithium toxicity. If the person is on thiazides and furosemide, don't give aspirin because it will increase sodium and water retention. Because these were basically supposed to be the diuretics, right? And uh, aspirin will be exactly the opposite. And all these are in prolonged uses only. So these are the contraindications, people. Fine.